forgiveness is the renunciation or cessation of resentment, indignation, or anger as a result of a perceived offense, disagreement, or mistake. So the renunciation or succession of resentment or anger of a perceived offense, disagreement, or mistake. So we're looking into forgiveness itself. So renunciation of being wronged. A perceived wrong, <laughs> even. This is important because I came across a sign the other day, which I'll post on here. And it made me laugh hysterically, but it, it caused me a tremendous amount of understanding of the plight of certain people. And <laughs> this is so easy to fix. It's, it's amazing. So, we know what forgiveness is. The renunciation, cessation of, of pers feelings of being wrong. The renunciation. I wasn't wrong. I'm done with that. It's, it's restored to whatever its perfect state. So when we see and we, we forgive everything, whatever was supposed to have wronged us is no more. There's no more having been wrong. And I think that a lot of people with forgiveness, they think that, well, I could forgive partially. That's not forgiveness. That's not the complete forgiveness. That's, that's, you know, a degree. But if we're looking at whole forgiveness, the entirety of the full spectrum of forgiveness is to say that I was not wronged. And when you were not wrong, then everything is in its pristine state. Somebody comes out, smacks you in your fucking face. I forgive. That's not to be scared about another s smack coming. It is that it's in its pristine state. We have renounced any wrongdoing that has not happened to us. <laughs> so this sign that I came across, it reads like this. Let me, let me get the exact. This, this is mind-blowing. And this is stuff that you've dealt with for probably most of your life. This this train of thought that is just right on the verge of silliness. And I just... Yeah. Hmm. Christians are not perfect. We are forgiven. Excuse me, children. <laughs> Christians are not perfect. We are forgiven.
So we know that something that is forgiven is in its pristine state. We have renounced that there is any wrongdoing. There has been any wrongdoing. How is a Christian not perfect? But yet they're forgiven. Do you see the trap here? It's it's so mind boggling. It, it's beyond insanity. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you say, I'm not perfect, but I'm forgiven? That statement in itself says, I'm not perfect because I'm not forgiven. Because if I was forgiven in the entirety of the spectrum of forgiveness, I'm perfect. Nothing holds any wrongdoing, no judgment upon me. I'm forgiven. So I drive by a church and see a sign that says Christians are not perfect, we are forgiven. And I have my two sons in the car with me. And I wonder, I ask myself, what is this church? What are these people trying to teach my children? First statement is a speaking of imperfection. My kids aren't fucking imperfect. <laughs> And you would say, oh yes, all have fallen short of the glory of God. Then they're not forgiven? Well, no, not until they've done these in this measure. Really? Because... If there's a renunciation of any wrongdoing, a cessation of the thought of being wrong, of a, even a, a perceived wrong, what steps do they need to take? There's only the quality that they're... needs to be an acceptance that they didn't do any wrong of their own perfection is what actually needs to be embraced as one's own perfection not to hide from it not to run from it Say, oh I can't be perfect <laughs> let's not be perfect let's let's have something wrong with us Please, give me something. <laughs> I got a tooth out of alignment. I'm not perfect. <laughs> no, it's fucking perfectly out of alignment. It's forgiven. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. But yet, week in and week out. Millions. Millions, millions of people go to hear that they are not perfect, but they are forgiven. And so they look at this world with a fucked up view. <laughs> without a complete fucking understanding of what forgiveness is. And it's perfect. 
even that they don't see that it's perfect. But when you are in a state of forgiveness, of true forgiveness, real 100% full fucking spectrum forgiveness, you see the perfection in everything. But it is so much for the separated mind to handle. Because with the mind that sees separation, that's the mind that sees imperfection. And it's not until that mind can forgive everything, everything, everything right down to the thought of forgiving the thing that forgave or doesn't forgive but that's forgiven wait you could stop pointing out I forgive that I forgive yeah anybody can fucking do that they can you know sit here on the game and you know what okay well I forgive that I forgive that I forgive that but do you forgive what forgives you see that little spot in you? That little speck that has judgment. In you. And forgive it. to renunciate that there has been any wrongdoing. It's not just in you, it's in everything. Because if you look through the, the history of mankind, it's full of people that say, I've never done any wrong. They justify killings and whatnot. of the people that understand that the other is forgiven as well. That nothing is done wrong. All is perfect. When you forgive that other and you forgive that little speck of you that has judgment and it's all this and everything's perfect. Christian is perfect. The Muslim is perfect. The atheist is perfect. They are all forgiven. The atheist isn't perfect. They don't even believe in God. They're going to hell. Forgive that thought. <laughs> Forgive that. When you understand that there's no wrong in the way that it, and you're thinking of that, that it's perfect that you thought that, then you'd understand that the reason you thought that is out of judgment. Because they are different from you. Because you haven't forgave them. You, you're sitting here in judgment of them. They're doing something different than you. And it's through this higher power that you have the ability to say that they're doing bad. Well, that's you not being in forgiveness. The higher power can deal with whatever the hell it wants and stuff, but but your version of the higher power is not a forgiving one that forgives. 
<laughs> and some people have distorted this, have taken this to the extreme that we don't have a forgiving creator. He's sending everyone to hell. <laughs> Damn them all. What happens when you forgive that thought? When you see life in its entirety, In forgiveness, when you have renunciated that there has been any wrongdoing, because you know you may not be perfect, but you're forgiven. Well, all of life is forgiven, and it's up to you to understand how. Which is going to cause a great deal of turmoil when you don't understand your perfection, when you don't forgive yourself. That one little spot in you. The judgment flows from. Find it. Where is it at? The Christian is perfect and is forgiven. It is perfect because it is forgiven. If uh, if it's imperfect, it's because it's not forgiven. That's all. Namaste.